Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'll be talking about the issue that I'm having with this laptop which is the um, HP Omen i7 17 inch screen with a 6 gig graphics card and a MB RAM. So it's um, a gaming machine, it's ought to function fast. Now the problem I'm having right now is that whenever I right click the mouse button which I'm going to do right now is my mouse as you can see I'll ring it in the dark area so you can see it clearly now I'm going to right click from here so you can see here is I'm going to right click it just tap it here and just have a look what happens to the mouse button so the arrow is now turning into an arc a turning circle and no matter what I do I can use various other functions off the laptop but the actual right click function is now frozen. Very annoying. So the fix is that we need to go into the registry and delete a value. Um, I'm going to show you how to back it up and also um, restore it if necessary um, in the future. So just deleting it is not really uh, the best way of doing things. So what we'll do while that's spinning, let's um, go to reg edit so R E G E D I T. It'll ask you to open it. It's Windows 10 here, so so let's go quickly right at the top. So here we have uh, one, two, three, four, and five hives here. So uh, we need to look at HG classes root. So once we go into HG classes root, open it by clicking on it. Uh, it'll drop down to various other values. The quickest way to get to the value or the hive I need is directory. So just type from the keyboard DIR. That will take you to D section straight away in alphabetical order. Um, here what we need to do is there would be directory here. So let me see if we can zoom in a little more. I know my camera doesn't like focusing sometimes but let's see. So here we are. So we need to go into directory. So where are we? Where are we? This one here. In directory, you need to click on it again. So let me just zoom out again. Let's put this here and focus on this screen only. So if we can do that, that would be nice. Hopefully, that would give you an idea. Right, here we are so that you can see what's going on right so click on directory um, expand that and then click on background expand that again then click on shell ex expand that in here you will see that there are other values in here where are we going here we are one of the values is called nvcpl desktop context now this is the value that is related to my problem it seems. Now by removing it, it will fix it. So before I remove the value, because it's a registry, the best thing to do is always back up the value which we delete just in case if something goes wrong we can get back to it. So what we'll do, before we click on delete, we'll click on export. Give it a name, whatever you like and save it wherever you like. So let's call it NVBAK. Da, 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 da. And as I said, save it wherever. Right, once that's saved, what we're going to do now is click on right click and delete this value permanently. Yep, and all its sub keys as well within that key. So that key is now gone. After removing that key, we can close the registry editor. And now, if you see the function of my mouse, I'm going to right click it. And as you can see, it's now coming up with the the menu that I need to actually see. Here we are. You can see that, so I can right click it and again and again and again and it's working absolutely fine now. I have no issues. Before it was just spinning and spinning and spinning and not actually showing me anything at all. Um, it would eventually show me but it just took ages. So now going back to the registry that we backed up. So that's under here, it's called NV 
BAK which I called it. So this is the registry key. Let me see if my camera can actually focus in. Is it focusing? Come on, come on. Here we are. So this is the value here. Now what I'm going to do is create a copy of this file as well. So let's just go back a little bit. So this one here is the one I made. And we're going to do Control C, Control V, and then rename this. to say RMV so let's remove okay so this one will add it so you can call that say for example hyphen add so our problem is effectively fixed what I'm doing now right now is just to understand in an event where you remove a key and you want to put it back again what's the best way to do this so we created the backup right now and we're gonna see if we can by cre and creating a value we're going to we, all we need to do is we add a hyphen inside the brackets right next to the key I think looking in, I don't know if you guys can see it so here we are once that hyphen is added that means it will now remove that key and its values so we just save that so let me show you now how it would work so we can click on add and it's say do you want to add this value and I'm going to say yep yep and now if we go back in I'm going to right click my mouse button and here we go spinning circle again now if we were to go into reg edit no, no, not the explorer, sorry. Yep, there we go. Now if we go in the same area, we'll see that value has been added again. There it is, it's sitting there, as you can see. Uh, it's been added in, and that's why my computer's gone back to as it was. So if we were to want to remove it now, we'll create we click on the RMV which is the removal value which has got the hyphen in the front and we say yep and we say yep and if we go back in that key is now gone so effectively we have just done this via clicking files rather than going to the registry and that's only in the case if we were to remove it and add it if we need to so now that's removed we should have our function back again once this process ends uh, in a timely way but um, let me see if you know what I mean look it's taking ages it takes ages it just freezes that value is definitely takes a while Once that value is added and removed, it it works. But the fact that here we go now that process of whatever it was ended. Now it's working absolutely fine because that value is not there anymore. So um, yeah, I mean, hopefully this will burst the PC into life again. Even though all the drivers are installed correctly, but no idea why Windows 10 is behaving this way. Anyway. I hope this helps um, to understand how to back up a value of a registry and add it back again if necessary and also to fix this right click problem with Windows 10 on the HP Omen desktop laptop. Um, anyway, thank you for watching and please do subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I try my best to answer them as much as I can. and. Um, I will be publishing more videos, all sorts coming across, 
Um, I have a lot of them on my micro SD, but just don't have time to get around editing them or adding them on. Some of them I want to do live, like this one here, so I can just talk to you guys and just show what, what what's been going on. And if there is something that I come across, and I feel that I can deliver it in a different way, or perhaps you know talk about it rather than just showing you screenshots with a lot of videos I have seen on YouTube where nobody talks, they just you know show you this is what to do and and it then explain themselves so it, I, I just find it quite sometimes hard to understand what's going on when there's nobody talking so it's always good to somebody sort of illustrating and talking at the same time but um, thank you for everybody who has subscribed to my video so far and my channel um, keep watching there will be more videos to come and until next time bye for now